In the air to left field. Going back on it. It is gone! Kevin Franzen sends everybody home with an 8-7 victory here in the bottom of the ninth inning. How about that? And that baby was way out. Way, way out of the ballpark. Got a 1-0 fastball. Looked like it. Talk about crushing. Whew. Man. Little hug from Jonathan Papelbon. As we said, they needed to expedite this win with their situation they were in. And he got it over with real quick. And as we said earlier this year, good for Kevin Franzen. He's our Chevrolet player of the game. <laughs> in a game in which the Phillies were leading at 7-1. He had a towering shot off the front of the second deck in left field. Oh, that was a long one. It sure was. The Phillies win it 8-7. A little celebration from his teammates, and he crushed oh, it. That fastball and he ran. knew it, too. Oh, <laughs> got to know. That baby ran right into his wheelhouse, and he just crushed that thing way out to left. Here it is. Good stride. Stayed back, loaded up, and got a fastball middle in 1-0. and No doubt. The only doubt on that one was how far it was going to go. So Kevin Francis walk off home run <laughs> makes this crowd of 45,000 plus feel a little bit better. <laughs> and he's down on the field with Murph. Murph, take it away. Yeah, I think everybody's feeling just a little bit better. I know this guy is. Uh, sometimes you only get one chance in a game. Uh, you certainly make the most of yours, Kev. Well, I try to. Um, luckily, I've seen him since high school. You know, we're from both both from the Bay, and I faced him in the playoffs. You know, coming we were 17 years old, so had you know good history with him and. Uh, he's a good pitcher, and uh, you know I got fortunate right there because obviously you guys know I'm not. Uh, you know I would have warmed. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's finish it up. Yeah, there we go. You know I thought about warning you on that one, but you and I have a history, so. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, listen to me. Uh, earlier, uh, Charlie Magnum earlier this week said that uh, you're his best hitter off the bench. Uh, you're, you're not going to get a, a, as much of a chance to start uh, with Chase Utley back, but just how's, how important are those words and doing that kind of thing right there? Uh, I guess, I, you know, pinch hitting is just, it's for the team. You know, you're trying to do something for the team. I'm not trying to hit a home run right there because that's not me. Um, I'm trying to get on base. Jimmy's behind me. You know, chase right after that. My goal is to get on base, and uh, unfortunately, you know, fortunately, we we got the win on that. Um, wow. Yeah. yeah. Before I let you go, Pap was out there giving you the hug. I mean, obviously, it's been a tough week for him, but you guys have been able to pick him up twice, uh, and he's been so good this season. He's been so for you. unbelievable. That's all you have to say. What did he have to What do you have to say to you? I can't say it. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, people around here start need to see that about him. He's been out there every day and busting his ass. And tell you what, we're not where we are right now without him saving those ball games earlier. And uh, you know we're fortunate to have someone so great like him to be there. And I'll give him the ball in the ninth anytime, any day of the week. And they'll probably give you the bat anytime, any day of the week. You have a nice job, Thanks. guys. We'll send it back upstairs. All right, Murph. Thank you very much. It was a nice way to end what was uh, a laugher at one point, and then not so much later on. Freddie Galvis as quick as a cat. Can he get to him? Yes, he can. Just as Kevin Franzen got to Carlos Torres, it was all worth it. This down and in fastball, and he drove it deep out of the ballpark here at Citizens Bank Park to give the Phils an 8 7 victory over the New York Mets. Little celebration to take us to break. <laughs>